Hey there, Ken McAnally, welcome back to the channel. There's an old expression which goes along the lines of youth is wasted on the young. Uh, and at a time when many of us are at our peak in terms of physical abilities, uh, enthusiasm and drive and power, uh, we seem to forget in some cases that there's a technique uh, to be remembered in golf as well. And this gentleman here uh, is a classic example uh, of that. This is a very powerful swing, very strong swing. But if we look in more detail, we see that there's something wrong with the uh, tempo. Swing on the left hand side uh, goes back and the swing on the right hand side seems to start a little bit later, but they both arrive back at impact at exactly the same point in time, which means that in the left hand case, uh, the gentleman is slowly taking the backswing on the right hand side, the tempo is completely different. That will affect him later on in higher level competitions. Not now, but in later higher level competitions where he's playing against people of similar skill or even more skill, uh, he will not be able to withstand uh, that level of problem as far as tempo is concerned. If we look in detail at the swing, we see that the top half of the swing is particularly mobile. Towards the end of the backswing, uh, the downswing actually starts a little bit before the backswing is finished. We see the upper body movement there is quite pronounced uh, and it starts the downswing with a drive of the lower body. Again, very popular amongst younger players, but it will not last him into uh, a, a stronger uh, competitive career. The other thing that's noticeable is that when he starts the downswing, there's a tremendous drop of the head. Compare the, the head there with the head and, you know, as he starts the downswing and we see there's a tremendous drop. How does he achieve that drop? He bends his knees. So in other words, the head is going down and, and basically not coming up terribly far. And you see at the point of impact that his head is considerably down. His bottom half has essentially collapsed and gone forward. And he's really setting himself up for a very, very powerful swing. But it will not be able to be repeated uh, under competition pressures because it's relying upon timing, hand and eye coordination, and all of these things disappear when the pressure is on in competition. As he goes through the point of impact, uh, we see that there's that the bottom half goes and then stops and everything from about three quarters down to the point of impact is done with the bottom half, is done with the top half. There's a degree of instability in the trailing heel. In other words, when he starts the downswing, the trailing heel flicks out, whereas it's not driving across, it's not adding anything to the conditions of impact, it's simply rotating in response to his rapid movement uh, of the bottom half. Not good as far as consistency is concerned uh, on the golf course. Uh, that trailing knee, that trailing ankle uh, spinning up is a tremendous waste of energy. We see the amount of lag he's generated uh, in the downswing, such that from the point where the shaft is almost parallel with the ground through the point of impact, it is all wrists. Now, you cannot play golf with wrists consistently well, it's not possible. Many, many golfers can hit the ball very, very far, but they can't do it consistently because they're, they're using the wrists too, too much. This swing is very like those long distance people, those long driving competitions who hit the ball extremely far, but they can't, can't find a target area that's about the width of an air, airport runway with a driver and that is ridiculous and cannot be sustained in major competition. If we look at the swing from the other angle, we see that there's uh, equally well a tremendous amount of bottom half movement early in the downswing, very unstable. Uh, and the backswing, the downswing begins with a considerable flattening, uh, shallowing uh, of the club shaft. We see it there. The club shaft is actually over the top of the ball. Uh, at that particular point. And again, the, the right heel has to drive up in the air so it's not adding to the point, to the conditions of impact. When you have the shaft going above the ball, you have to make adjustments 
on the way down to get the club head to the ball and and that's never going to last in competition the other aspect of it is if we compare the intended ball flight or the actual ball flight with where his club head goes we see that the club head is hardly spending any time at all uh, on the target line it goes in very quickly and out very quickly his shoulders are also open uh, at the point of impact this guy is a very very good golfer a very high level golfer at this age this swing will hit the ball very very far but it will not be able to be sustained under competition pressures because it uses too much body movement too much wrist flick to get the distance that he desires at the moment will not be sustainable uh, in major competition hope people find this commentary interesting and um, thoughts back more than welcome bye for now